Good morning, folks. Today we've got minor activity on the sun, some earthquake notes, eye candy, an impact coming to the moon, and some climate forcing. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was not all that quiet, but not tremendously eruptive either. You'll want to watch bottom left quadrant, as at the end of the sequence a small filament ripped away this morning, it is not aimed at Earth. And while the sun continues building towards sunspot maximum up there, here at Earth overnight, a re-intensification of the solar wind speed back to near 600 kilometers per second occurred. It's driving what should be the last recurrence of geomagnetic instability for this space weather event. And we just want to mention two notes here. First, that line of USA quakes is in fact a geometric line. Line passes through the epicenters of all four of yesterday's rumbles in the states. We also have a solid blood echo in Colombia and another in Central America. Yes, the West Pacific has a number of blood echoes as well, but Colombia tends to get my attention. Let's relax a moment and check out the latest image comparison sequence from Chandra, combining optical, X-ray, and other wavelengths for composite images of stellar, galactic, and extragalactic sources. Nice of them to end with a recurrent nova, our query. Folks, you may have heard, but one of the Falcon rocket stages is going to hit the moon the first week of March. They have fully plotted its orbital diagram within the Earth and Moon system, and they even know within a few kilometers where on the moon it's going to hit. Sadly, it'll be on the far side of the moon we can't see. Folks, papers with titles like this tend to get my attention immediately, and I generally know it's going to be one of the extremes, either great or really not so great. Sometimes there's monsters, sometimes there's money rarely both. Here, we find the single greatest scientific failure of our age sneaking back into the minds of academic geniuses. They recommend you ignore data from reality and just go with models. Yeah, that's how we got dark matter, human-caused global warming, COVID mandates and lockdowns, and the idea that not needing an ID to vote is a good thing. You get the picture. And last but not least, no finger wagging here. High detail look at the energy coupling between the solar wind, magnetosphere, and the polar cap. You might recall, it was just a couple days ago we reported the story describing how ignored the IMFBX is in climatology, and they are charging forward here in that vein. And of course, the scalability puts those characteristics of the galactic current sheet interacting with the sun, hitting of the stellar electrodes, if you will. We greatly appreciate your support. Website members, good news and bad news. Amazing podcast yesterday, and we've got a super deeper look. It's called How to Freeze a Mammoth. Bad news, we're updating our systems, and if you need site support, it'll probably be middle to late next week. We're moving about as fast as a frozen mammoth. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.